So your background is, is, is coding and programming, is that right? Give us a bit of your history and how you got involved in the second edition. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, everybody that's alive probably has a twisted path. I, I started out in uh, sciences and agriculture and went into statistics. And in statistics, they kind of just assumed you would know how to use a computer and you just kind of had to figure it out on your own. So I'm, I'm a little bit older than Justin. I didn't get to start when I was a kid. I started in college and uh, doing Fortran 77 stuff. So, wow. um, yeah, it's been a while. But I really enjoyed working with the com- with computer programming. And I was a statistician also, but I went more and more to programming until that's actually what I ended up doing, working uh, at a corporation, but I was a Python, professional Python developer. So I, and also did some publishing stuff with a typesetting language called LaTeX and some XML stuff, but mainly it's yep. been Python. Yeah. You know, you know, LaTeX. Well, I can't say I know it well, but I, I know some people love it. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's kind of an ad- addicting language. It's very strange, but um, you know, it's another language and it's, it's nice to broaden your horizons if you don't want to just learn one language, but I think Python is such a great one to start with because uh, it's it's pretty easy to understand. You can almost understand what a program is doing just on the first read, yeah. and uh, then there are all these wonderful libraries, and and that's covered in the book as well. Some of the wonderful libraries you have to make your life a lot easier. So, I mean, would you recommend, I was going to say LaTeX as the first language. No, I'm joking. Would you like recommend Python as your first language? Definitely. I, I think that that would be a great one to start with. Like Justin, I started out uh, not with PHP, but with Perl. And uh, yeah. I was doing oh, all kinds. Of- I remember Perl. Yeah. Perl. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. We all remember Perl. Yeah. 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 And so, you know, I thought, well, Perl is pretty cool. I can do whatever I want to. And then I saw, oh, no, look at Python. It makes it so much simpler to be able to yep. get done what you want to do. And um, I, I just never really looked back and, and rewrote some of my Perl scripts, even as Python, to help help learn the language. But I think it, and it is taught in universities as a beginning language, too. So how did you get involved? Was it you were teaching at a college? Is that right? Or university? Is, is that yeah, correct? I, and then I you were teaching, teaching hacking. Is that right? Sorry, go on. Um, no, I was teaching statistics. Um, okay. And then hacking is more like a side thing for me. I, I consider myself more of a developer, a programmer than a hacker. Yeah. I mean, Justin's the one that brings the hacking. And that's why uh, I kept his ideas of, of the uh, the first edition because he brings all that hacking knowledge and ideas, the things that I wouldn't have known. And so I brought more of the programming uh, discipline to it. And it's a great combination though, isn't it? I think it is. I really yeah. do. Because uh, yeah. Justin's ideas would push me. I learned a lot uh, doing the book. Um, and most of it was really, really fun too, uh, just to learn, oh, I, I know this part about programming, but I didn't know it could be used to do this, say, take take a screenshot behind the scenes while somebody else is using the computer, key loggers and things like that. It's just so much fun to make a little tool that can do so much. 